Hello everyone and welcome to this edition of Race Face Driver Updates. I'm Brittany Lung. Connor Mosack took to the track at Southern National Motorsports Park in the number eight Junior Motorsports late model stock for the Cars Tour season opener. He qualified a fifth and battled in the top 10 for the majority of the race. In the later stages, he worked his way back up into the top five, battling with teammate Josh Berry to secure a third place finish. Up next for Connor will be the race face Telmed 300 at Hickory Motor Speedway on March 21st. Jesse Love was in Avondale, Arizona for the Arca Menard Series event at Phoenix Raceway driving for Bill McAnally Racing. He qualified in seventh and ran in the top 10 for a good part of the race. But inside 10 laps to go, Jesse would get spun out, resulting in a 16th place finish. He then transitioned to the sprint car, running for Cox Racing at Petaluma Fairgrounds Speedway. In his heat race, he started first and finished third. He then went on to the B main, where he started fifth and finished in seventh, unfortunately not making the A main. Jesse will be back in the sprint car at Silver Dollar Speedway this Friday and Saturday. Jake Bowman was back in the Legends car at the Las Vegas Bull Ring. He swept the weekend winning both feature events in the Young Lions division. He now sits in the third position in the National Inix points. He switches to the 5150 Junior Late Model Series this weekend driving for Nake Clower Motorsports at Madeira Speedway. Drivers who were not in action this week but will see the racetrack next week include Nake Clower Motorsports drivers Cassidy Hines in the number 88 5150 Junior Late Model. Grant Thompson will also see action at Madeira in his number 54 5150 Junior Late Model. Joey East will also run at Madeira Speedway in the Nut Up Pro Late Model Series in the number 88. Brody Moore will make his debut in the number 78 Junior Late Model for Charlie Wilson Motorsports. Caden Honeycutt will be back in his sports mod at Cotton Bowl Speedway. Kobe Sokol will run his 24S 600 micro sprint at Port City Raceway in the Oil Capital Clash this weekend. Justice Sokol will also be in action at the Clash in his 25S 600 micro sprint. That's it for this week's Race Face Driver Updates. And remember, if you've missed any of our shows, you can get caught up at raceface.tv on demand. Don't miss Race Face Spotlight on Thursdays at 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, this week featuring Jake Bowman. As always, we encourage you to support local racing in your communities. Don't forget to follow us on social media. We will be back next week with more from your favorite Race Face drivers. So go out there and have a great race week. I'm Brittany Lung. Thank you for watching.